transform a dated medicine cabinet to something new and modern on Hey mom! This is my daughter's guest bath. The first time I stayed with her, I just bought this cheap shower curtain and bath rug. It basically hadn't changed for a year. This caused me to volunteer to remake her bathroom. The first thing she wanted me to tackle was this medicine cabinet. It was in an awkward place across from the toilet and it was also very short. She wanted to get rid of it, but I told her that I had an idea of how to transform it. And then I set off to do that. Well, we'll get to the doors later. The only thing that appears to be real wood are the doors. So, that's interesting. Okay, but the rest of it, none of that is, none of this is uh, real wood, so it's gonna get painted. I have a couple other things I wanna do to kind of modernize it. Remove this. This is, we're not using that. That's very dated. Okay, so I did not record any of that, but what I did was clean it. And I'm about to glue it together here. And um, the idea is this is gonna be the new top, this is gonna be the new bottom, and maybe I'll have hooks or something coming from the bottom. First I have to paint everything. I was gonna spackle these holes here from that decorative piece that I removed, but I think it'll be hidden by the door. I think that'll be fine. These holes are to get it on the wall, so I don't think I have to do any spackling. Maybe down here, but eh, we'll just leave that for now. And um, so I'm gonna get to gluing and screwing and hammering. As you can see here, one of the sides was in pretty rough condition. So I glued it together and then put screws in the side and I just figured that was a, the best solution. Now this little montage about the doors is interesting because ultimately I did all of this work, removing the hardware, removing the glass, taking out the centerpieces, spackling them, painting them, all of that work uh, for nothing because my daughter came to me later and said she did not want the doors to be part of the final project. My original thought was I was going to hang them upside down as well. They would mimic the bottom of the shelf and look more modern. But, you know, it's her piece. But I did leave the montage in here so she could see the amount of work that I did. You'll probably see these items again in a craft that I'll do eventually. No loss, really. This is the inner shelf that I primed and painted. Um, I did paint the whole shelf a light gray color, bare paint as usual. So I painted and primed the whole shelf. One coat of primer, two coats of paint. If you like to see DIYs like this, don't forget to like and subscribe to Hey Ma. And if you really like the video, share it with someone who will also be inspired. So this wasn't real wood, it is like a laminate, maybe a cardboard on the back, but um, I did prime it and paint it. And that way I was able to do like a coat of primer and then a coat of paint. And it, and it looked pretty good. I think it, maybe I did two coats of paint and it gave a really good result that was pretty sturdy. One of my regrets in not knowing that my daughter didn't want to use the doors is that I would have speckled um, the holes before I painted. Uh, by the time she told me it was already painted and I was just like, you're gonna have to live with that girlfriend. Curls gone wild. Here, I just want to highlight this crappy paint job. 
I can't believe, quote unquote, professionals did this. Even the area that I was moving the cabinet to, you can see right here, something must have been there when they painted and they just didn't bother to move it and paint it to match. So I did try to mount it uh, over the spot. The previous video of glazing painting that I did was partly to mask the spot on the opposite wall. My daughter was cracking up because I kept complaining about the quote unquote professionals and how they should have done it. Here I'm just showing that I, I did double check that it was even afterwards. These are uh, um, pre-drilling holes for the hooks. And I know that last one was a little dodgy, but it turned out okay. And after a little styling, it's done. I'd like to welcome you to subscribe to Hey Ma and like the video if you enjoyed this. We do have more DIYs coming. Hopefully our crafts inspire you and our DIYs motivate you to do it yourself. Remember, if we can do it, so can you. Bye.